All right, guys, we got my man Cuts by Coast in the chair. He decided it was time to cut all this hair off the back. He had just been rocking the taper. I think he wanted to get some braids at some point, but he had had enough of it. Wanted to cut it off, basically do a mid skin fade. I think he said nobody in the shop really felt comfortable going after it with all this hair. So we're gonna tackle it today for you guys on the channel. Right now I'm using the number four on my Stylecraft Rebel, guys. I'm just taking that straight up. At the beginning of this, you can see we're just feeding that clipper up into the curls on top. He does not want to cut any length off on top. I tried to talk him into it. He actually came back later and said he wished we would have shaped it a little bit. But you can see we're just allowing that four to feed into the top, setting up the panel on the sides for us to fade into, and then we'll come in and start our fade. All right, now we're gonna come in and start our bald guideline. I like to do it with these slimline pros. They are not very sharp. It is gonna allow me to take that bald line out when we get to that part. So we're just gonna punch in our guideline following basically the connection that we did to the top. It will go down slightly in the back. Not really a drop fade, but we're just gonna follow the head shape. You guys see the transition from the four to the top. We'll go ahead and bald all that out, come in with the shaver and get it down to skin, then we can start our first step. our way up into our first step and if you guys didn't see this video I did get a brand new set of custom FX so I was actually testing them out this was the haircut that I was testing them out on so you may have seen this haircut quickly in that other video we're gonna use those today for this cut guys we're starting with the lever all the way open going up about three quarters of an inch to establish our first guideline once that's established we can start to work it out from the bottom Now guys, for some reason I chose to go ahead and lighten up some of this bulk. I think when I was cutting my open section, I just noticed that I was having a little bit of trouble making a nice clean section. So I'm gonna go ahead and fade down. We started with a four, now I'm gonna fade down to a three and then a two. And you guys know I like to teach fading from bald up into a two, so this is gonna make it much easier. Now we can start to work our bottom section out. So I'm starting with the clipper closed at the bottom. Guys, I like to teach this as a very simple system. If the clipper is closed, it should be at the bottom. If it's halfway open, you should be halfway up into the section. And of course, we set our guideline in with the clipper open at the top of the section. So you guys keep it simple. Once you work through that guideline system, we can adjust the lever. We will go in. If there's a dark spot, we start with the lever open, go after that dark spot with the corner of the clipper. If it doesn't come out, we'll go ahead and close that up slightly until we get the spot to come out. Once we're done with this section, we can go ahead and move up. Now for our next section, we'll come in with a one guard all the way open and we're going up another three quarters of an inch. Now guys, remember we just faded down to a number two. So we're trying to lightly connect to this number two. There should be a little bit of a line left. We'll come in with our one and a half, go ahead and connect all of that together. And then all we will have left is this bottom line between the open section and the one. Now we're in with the one and a half. Like I said, guys, I use the one and a half halfway open. That is your sweet spot. We're just gonna go through that last line between the one and the two. And you guys see that's gonna connect that together nicely. Then we'll come back in with our one and fade the way down until we get rid of that last line. Now we're in with the one guard all the way closed, guys. We're gonna start to work on that very last line that you can see. We are going a little bit above the line. We have to understand that we have to work right below the open one with the closed one, and the line will come out all the way with the half guard. So as soon as we're done with the closed one, you guys will see we just got a little bit of a line left. We'll come in with the half guard halfway open and clean that up. All right, so now that we've run through all of our steps, I'm just going to spot clean up. I'm gonna start with the one and a half. You guys see a couple little dark spots here. I know the rest of the hair is gonna curl up. I don't wanna to get too into that connection to the top. So we're just gonna go after a few spots. I hit it with the one and a half. If that doesn't get it, we go to the one open. 
close up the one. We can go back to the half guard, back to the open clipper, whatever we need. We'll just work at it until we are happy with the blend. And we're gonna move on to the beard. Guys, I only recorded one side of this cut. It was for this clipper video. So we're gonna fade the beard out real quick, get to the lineup and some razor work. I'm gonna start on the beard with a one and a half, halfway open, same exact steps as the fade guys, just upside down. So one and a half, halfway open, then we'll do the one open, then close the one up. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the open clipper because it is a taper blade, and you guys see that'll blend right out. Halfway open clipper, close clipper, trimmer at the top. I know that was fast, guys, but same exact steps as the fade. We're just gonna work from the bottom up. So you guys see we faded the beard out, and we're gonna move on to the lineup. All right, guys, so Markel's lineup is a prime example of where enhancements are nice. You guys see he does not have hair that's brushed down like bangs. Only in the corner do we kind of brush it down. His hairline is so straight across that all of his hair is brushed up into the top of his hair. And so you can see through the hair right in the front and see the skin. So we just applied a very light application of fibers. You can see him on his forehead just slightly, not too much, just to kind of cover up that skin tone and give him a little bit sharper of a hairline. We don't want to get into his hairline. He doesn't like having those bangs that you brush down and you kind of always add hair to it. So we brushed everything up except for a very small section in the corners that he likes to brush down to get that full corner. And then we applied some fibers on it, a little bit of holding spray. Now we're just working from the center to each corner. We'll hit the vertical bar, give him a nice sharp C cup. Then we're gonna come in and do some razor work and you guys can check out this finished cut. Now moving on to the razor work guys, I am using the Tomb 45 triple cartridge razor holder with the fully exposed cartridge. You guys can see the blade is sticking out quite a bit. I like to see what I'm working on. It's gonna allow me to get that detail. If I ever had to shave a full head or shave somebody's full beard off, I would use the least exposed cartridge. It's gonna leave less room for error, not as much blade sticking out, but for getting in corners like you just saw and getting the detail on this hairline, I like to use the exposed blade. So we're just gonna stretch the skin. Guys, we're basically tracing the line that we already did with the trimmers. And like I said, guys, with the light coat of fibers on here, it's just really gonna make this hairline pop. So now we will work our way straight across the front hairline. We already did the C cup and the vertical bar. We'll hit the top of his beard line, go ahead and do the other side and you guys can check this thing out. As we finish up the razor work, I want to tell you guys one last chance. I'm heading to Fort Worth this weekend for a class with Gib Beam and Yo Fonz. If you guys want to check that out, hit the link in the description. It is going to be dope. Guys, we're going to be doing haircutting, enhancements, YouTube, social media, all of the above. So come chop it up with us. We will be there this weekend. The details are in the description. And there's your man before, my man Cuts by Coast, shaggy grown out, ready for a change. And there's the finished product guys, high mid fade. Hope you guys like this video. If you want to check out those Babeless custom effects, click the link up above. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this cut and this transformation. Guys, if you liked the video, smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to have some more tutorials and unboxings and all that good stuff coming soon. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.